Okay. So I hit the button. There's a, the case has been going on in Nevada. And we've even put the case up there before. We said, hey, we want this gag order lifted of the 2020 election. We want those that data lifted out of there. And uh, I didn't I didn't believe, Brandon, that it would that because this gag order goes back uh, 15 years, that it should be included anyway. But that we did it right. So we put this in, everybody. And yesterday, okay, my, yeah, I believe it was yesterday, um, the government. Get ready, Cheryl. Get your pen ready now, all you all you journalists out there. The United States government said, "We this data from Dennis Montgomery of the election is good to go. You can you can show it to the world." I mean, it ran. It's like, and then go. But they said the other stuff you can't. There's still restrictions there on the other stuff, which you know they're for, na- for national security go. for national security reasons. Right, right. That's what they're saying. This other stuff. Well, what did I want all along? I wanted, I wanted my data. The reason I I've been holding my arm up is going, hey, our country's been attacked and everything else. And now they've said it's all yours, Mike. Show the world. So you can now use this in all your lawsuits. All the lawsuits. Everybody can. Now, I want to tell everybody, and we have more news, okay? Now, everyone's going, well, Mike, when are you going to put this out there now? When are you going to put this out there? It's going to come, and I want all you journalists out there, you can write your little hit jobs, but this has to go through two, two more processes according to the lawyers. But now that we know we can do it, and... So what we did, because there's another very important thing coming before we present it, before we bring it to the court, we're going to show it to the world. I want to show it to the world before we bring it up to Judge Nichols up in D.C. And here's why, everybody. Today, we subpoenaed, and now now I got I don't even know the names now. Um, Will you text Kurt and tell him which ones we, the names of the people we subpoenaed? I believe Clapper was one. Um. But I don't want to get it right or wrong. These are big names coming at you, Brandon. Maybe you know who we subpoenaed. Well, my guess is you probably sub- you probably subpoenaed John Brennan and 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 uh, James Comey for sure. No, I know Clapper's in there. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. These were some of the people you also were that that uh, Donald Trump was suing in his lawsuit. No, no. Well, this goes back to this has uh, ties in directly to. Um, um, the Dennis Montgomery's um, stuff. Well, so when he I come- remember originally it was it was uh, Mueller, Comey, thought- Brennan, Clapper. Uh, originally, the story was these guys were all involved with Obama with this software. Well, anyway, we we subpoenaed a lot of big names. But I, I did I did text we'll- to ask, so we'll hear what he says. Yeah, we'll find out, everybody. I don't want to uh, give a false subpoena notice, and then they'll say we're fake news here at Lindell Report. Um, but we're um. But these are big names, and I'm, I'm really sorry, everybody, uh, you journalists. Uh, Mike Lindell didn't even know who he subpoenaed. I've got about 15 things going on at the same time. All I know is that they, it's very important that these get subpoenaed before I show you guys everything that's going to— we're, we're going to show the world. We are going to show the world now. And, and then you take all this information, and then you take these subpoenas, I believe, these te- what's going to come out of there— uh, there's one that starts with an N, too, I believe. Uh, um, N, N, um, Nagagra. Um, na, um, um, it starts with an N. We, we got, hopefully, Kurt will get back to you right away. Um, but anyway, we have... Uh, so we're doing the subpoenas, everybody. And we take the, we're going to take their subpoenas. We're going to take the information. And we're going to have... Uh, what I'd like to do... Brandon, uh, is maybe just make a devote almost a whole day. Uh, we're going to also, I want to get, um, I want to interview uh, Dennis. Uh, he's been, you know, Dennis has been, they've attacked him. You know, he's got, this vindicates him. It vindicates everybody. You know, anyone that said anything about machines and cyber and all this, it vindicates everybody. And, and especially Dennis, he's become one of my greatest friends and he, uh, um, I'd like to do it, get an interview, and uh, maybe he'd like to be the one to say, "Hey, look at this, everybody! Happy Honolulu!" You know, 
And, uh, but I, you know, all these other lawsuits, all these other horrible lawsuits against the just people, everyday people that were poll watchers. Then you got your big ones against all Okay, the, it uh, is Clapper. Ne- ne- uh, ne- uh, Negroponte. That's what, that was the one I couldn't And the of. one that I was going to guess but didn't want to because uh, I didn't want to get it wrong it is a name that's not many people know, but it's James Baker, who's the former FBI general counsel. Not, and not, not for the political policy guys like myself, not the James Baker that worked with George H., President George H. Bush. Different guy. But it was Clapper, Negroponte, and James Baker. The James Baker is the former FBI general counsel.